from his high school days in Prattville to the University of Alabama, where he wore the crimson number 24 jersey to the pros for nine years. Kevin Turner's life has revolved around the sport of football. And sadly, today he lost his battle with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. CBS 42 Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater, who's a dear friend of Kevin, shares his personal memories of the man he considered to be his best friend since childhood. I'm going to rock it. Kevin Turner. Just the name sparks unforgettable memories. The American man. Growing up in Prattville, I was witness to Kevin Turner as he launched his football career as a high school superstar and became one of the best college football running backs to ever hit the field at Bryant-Denny Stadium. He was a, the ultimate competitor. I mean, uh, uh, he gave everything he had in practice and in the game time. In 1992, Turner took his talents to the next level. He was drafted by the New England Patriots. In the summer of 2010, Turner was tackled by the hardest hitting opponent he had ever faced. ALS. I was diagnosed with uh, ALS, and uh, although it, uh, it's hard to say. He could have given up, but he never did. The father of three remained active with the game he loved. Kevin just said, I don't care what's going on with my health. I'm just going to keep fighting. He later started the Kevin Turner Foundation to mentor young athletes. And I think the seeing the attitude that Kevin's taken of we're going to try to make a difference. I followed KT through his battle with ALS. His sense of humor, even in the darkest of times, brought a smile. Nationally known comedian Larry the Cable Guy was so moved hearing Turner would lose his voice, he offered his own. I love you. I played for the Patriots and I played for the Eagles. He got me kidding me. <laughs> As the horrible progression of ALS robbed Turner of his mobility, technology kept him rolling along. This was one of the last times KT was seen in public at a 2015 award dinner in his honor. There are plenty of things we don't know about ALS and how to stop its cruel progression. No disease could ever take the indomitable spirit, the heart of a champion, a great father. Kevin Turner was my friend and a brother. He is now at peace, free from his affliction. Turner left a legacy, a foundation that will continue to educate and fight to find a cure. So one day, ALS will never, never take away one of Alabama's finest again. Kevin will be missed. He was 46 years old. Funeral services, we're told, will be held in Prattville on Sunday. Now, Kevin Turner's parents released a statement today thanking family, friends, and fans for supporting their son. Raymond Turner says, quote, just wanted to tell everyone Myra and I lost a great son today. He'll be missed so much. Thank everyone so very much over this journey we have had for all your support and prayers. He was ready to go to heaven, excited. He said, Kevin Turner, guy I had the pleasure of, of knowing and covering, and it seemed like he played for Alabama for eight years. And, you know, I'd listen to the games on the radio. I'd watch him on television. But it was this, this inspirational journey at the end that I'll remember Kevin for. So brave and such a wonderful father. Such an inspiration to a lot of people. Just this past July, the Kevin Turner Foundation, which raises money for research on ALS, uh, the city of Birmingham gave a proclamation. Lots of people uh, tuned in, uh, came out for that event as they raised awareness, educating people about ALS and, and certainly Kevin's spirit. And that's what uh, I will remember, Jim, is that that lives on. Uh, and hopefully one day there is a cure for ALS. Much more about Kevin on our website, WIET.com.